hey 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 welcome back to going with gabby and today today we are going to be i am going to be doing a challenge with the christmas makeup kits so around the holidays around christmas they come out with these makeup packs that are like eyeshadow blush all these different things i'm going to insert a picture for you guys so you guys can see which one i got um it was just at ten dollars so for today's challenge, I'm basically going to be using only what comes in the pack. So um, the two foam brushes, the eyeliners, the eye primers, the lip gloss, the lipsticks, the mascara, these little capsules here, which I'll show you guys closely a little bit later, uh, which are blush and highlight and contour, and this one palette. So I am testing myself to see if I can create a complete look. That way, when you guys perhaps get these uh, kits, you guys can recreate the look or you have ideas going into the look and you can know if these are like worth it. I don't know, uh, I'm a little skeptical because I see nothing like these brushes, these, these little foam applicator things. That's not really gonna work. So I'm a little bit worried about it. So we shall see what happens um, as many as you guys know I normally do my eyebrows off camera but because I'm really worried <laughs> and I'm not too sure what's gonna happen I'm actually gonna do my eyebrows on camera so that you guys can see what kind of like goes down in the process since none of these like these colors are sparkly I'm gonna be trying to you know work something out so these eyeshadows here, 16 of them. Most of them are shimmer. None of them are matte except for one, two, three, four. There are four, five mattes. And the other nine of them are shimmer or have some type of glitter in them. <laughs> That's really helping for my eyebrows. So to get started, I'm actually gonna take this eyeliner um, it's like a copper, copper brown. Oh, here it goes. You guys can see that. I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna. I'm really nervous. I'm gonna outline my eyebrows. So, here we go. Those nerves, y'all. They are real. Okay. Y'all, if I make this work, I want five dollars. From everybody that views this video, I want five dollars. Just kidding. Okay. The good thing about this is because it's an eyeliner, it's fairly creamy. Um, which is quite helpful at actually filling it in. Like, it's not as harsh as some eyebrow pencils can be. So I'm actually quite shook, y'all. Like, So, just using my finger to help me, like, make a point at the end of it for the tip of my eyebrow. I, must, I, I have a color in the palette that I think I can score my eyebrow. I don't know, guys. I have a lot of questions. It's okay. So I'm having to buff it out so that when I continue to wipe some away, my eyebrows are already extended. Okay. So, these are my eyebrows. I mean, they're not twins, but they definitely sisters. <laughs> so, um, I feel like that's A plus. Now, of course, as you guys can see, they're like really close right here. And that ain't cute. So I'm gonna take my finger and just kinda like, both, both sides of it. 
mostly at the top. Okay. It's actually fairly good. Um, this whole like fake brush thing, these, who told them to put these in there? This is not helpful, people. Um, so I'm gonna take, I don't know, the rounder side, looks like this, cause this one's skinnier. So I'm gonna take the rounder side. I'm going to go into this color right here. Gonna go into this color right here. And I'm just gonna go right at the tip or the start of my eyebrows to help buff that out so was that a mistake? <laughs> no, that wasn't a mistake. Okay. It's weird because it's not really like, it's not a brown, but it's helping, I think. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay. That works. Okay, eyebrows. You're done. Which, if you can do your eyebrows, anything is possible. <laughs> anything is possible. So, I'm next gonna go ahead and do my eyes, of course. And it comes with an eye primer. It comes with two eye primers. I really wanna know what the difference is. So, the first one is, it's a lot of air, first off. It's a lot of air. Yeah, if nothing comes out of here, I'm gonna be real salty. What? First off, this primer is glitter. This is an eyeshadow. Hold on. Let's see what the other one is. I'm shook. So this is what the eye primer looks like. Which looks like a cream eyeshadow. Um Okay, this look may take a totally different. If th this, I'm really shook, y'all. I was really thinking it was gonna be like white. Ew, I should shake this up. It's squirted. It's liquid. That's really nasty. Reminder: shake up your products before you use them. <laughs> so that's nasty. I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and clean it off my hand. First off, I don't know how long this is taking. Cause it is just squirt now water. All right, let's try again. At this point, we have to just scratch this one. But I think the color. Oh. Um, first off, it's really. I think it's just this product. It's really watery. But that's what it looks like. It looks like um. Like a peachy lotion, kind of. So, I guess I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my eye. I'm wiping my hand off this. Like my hands, people. Um, I'm gonna use a. I'm really scared about this. I'm really gonna. I'm gonna use a little bit of this on my eyelids. Okay, let's just. We're gonna pray back, guys. Uh. Okay, come on. Yeah, it has less color than the other one. The other one was a true, like, cream shadow, which I think I can actually use in creating a look, like for today. But that is not a primer, and I need to know that. And this is really weird. So, it's very light. It doesn't feel heavy at all, which is nice. Um, but it's not like, it's not tacky like a true primer would be. But it's also, was it a $10 pack from Walmart? <laughs> so, now we know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the Rose Eyes palette. And as you guys saw, I think it was this. This one was like a um, light pink. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go into this brown here. 
for the corners of my eye. Brush them in, maybe throw a little bit of pink in there. Let's just see what happens. I'm gonna try this foam thing, and if all those fails, we're gonna do fingers. Ooh, it went on. I mean, that's something. Y'all, can you see my nose glistening? So my mom is always cold, so she turned on the heater. I'm like, ma'am, ma'am, it is not cold enough for that. So. I mean, it's showing up. Where's my water? This video is not sponsored by Starbucks, so I really don't like these foam things. But it's working. I mean, for the sake of the video, it's working. Um, and the color is not too bad, actually. So I'm actually gonna see what happens when I use my finger. Cause I understand this is. We still don't want any harsh lines. Babe, yes, yes, finger, blend for us, blend this out for us. Okay, do the same thing on the other eye. Oh, Think. I feel like it's something when it could be nothing. <laughs> so, I might be girl. If not, I think I have another little trick I want to try. Because the color doesn't bother me. I just want it to be darker. But again, this might just be a softer look, which nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna take this brown eyeliner and just go right on the end of the waterline. Yep, didn't do anything. It's fine. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do now is now that we have that, let's go ahead and we're not doing cookies. That's too much. Um, but I do want to take this eye eye primer which is like liquid eyeshadow. And I want to go ahead and put that here. And then I'm gonna top it with some of this pink glitter. That's what I wanna do. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I just took like not even a pea size, a little smidge. A little smidge, can you see that? A little smidge. I'm gonna go, oh, I'm scared. It's on, I'm scared. Okay, first off, the fact that this color is the way it is, is I stand. This is not a primer though. Um, That is actually really pretty. Oh. These nails make it hard to kind of like <laughs> see what I'm doing, but it was time for me to get my nails done, so. First off, I could have used this color the other day. When I was getting ready. That's pretty. See, the color itself is nice. It just is not a primer. So y'all, don't use it as a primer, okay? I mean, you could, but it's more like, it's a true, like my finger is got some shine to it. Like that's pretty. Now, that whole blended thing is a little struggle. Because I really am trying to test myself. I mean, if I wanted to, I could probably get brushes and help blend this out even more. But, I really want to challenge myself and see if I could achieve the look with what comes in the container. You know? Or what comes in the pack. Or the kit. So, so far I think I'm doing pretty good. But again, I need to do the same thing on this side. 
Oh, come on. This is like a faux cut crease because I didn't cut nothing out. <laughs> just, just create that little, that little crease as I go along. See, when I'm doing my makeup, it's kind of heavier here, more defined, more like the color itself. But as I get out, I try to use my finger to just dab and blend it in with the brown. Because I don't want any harsh lines. I mean, although we don't have any brushes, we still can't be looking crazy. So, okay. I mean, it looks good. I'm going to use my makeup wipe that I've been using. You just go under here. I don't want any under my eye. I might put another color under my eye, but it is not this one. Okay. So, with that being done, I'm going to go ahead and take... Oh, finger. Okay. I don't know if I want to do... Looking at this, I don't know if I want to do this color or this color. I think I'm gonna do this color and keep it a lighter look. And then use either this color, probably this color, to transition back into the brown. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So I'm gonna take this first color, which is weird. Um, I'm really hoping the glitter isn't just on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and go right in the corner with this color. And I'm putting it right. Try this little thing. Okay, I have color on here. And I'm just patting it on right in the center here. On the corner. Right? So, no. I love this makeup wipe, y'all. I can't even explain it. Okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm over here dropping stuff. At this point, it's whatever. Do you guys think I'm pretty? Not yet. I'm working on it. <laughs> I am working on it. Okay. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna take oh this peachy color here, this pink. This one here. And I'm gonna put it right next to the brown and blend those two in together. Further blending it in together. That's pretty. So, of course, I'm definitely gonna have to go back into the um the brown to really get that to be stronger so i'm going back into the brown and i'm just dabbing it right on the corner right on the outer corner a little bit at the top it looks good Need some. I definitely think it'll look even better when I have mascara and eyeliner on. Yo, every time this thing closes, I don't know if I'm gonna get it open. It'd be struggling. Because I had to wipe it off. There's this like weird line right there. I'm just filling that in. There we go. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to close the palette, and I'm going to go into the black eyeliner. Ooh, okay, hold on. How do you see what I'm doing? Hmm, I don't really like this eyeliner. 
like trying to give me something. I mean, this. Can we look a slight that like Cause this ain't this. It's weird. It's harder than the other one, but I feel like it doesn't want to go on. I don't have to. I'm not trying to poke my eye out trying to get this on here either. Yo. I see a, it's a little bit of a difference. Maybe I'll try to like define it even more by doing my waterline. I'm gonna go ahead and try to give a small wing because okay, okay. So now I'm gonna take the mascara that comes in it. I mean, it's a nice bristle brush. And I mean, it doesn't stink. That's good. <laughs> getting getting it back into the container is a little worrying. Uh, you probably get like you're breaking it, but I mean, I'm not gonna lie. My eyelashes though. Okay, eyelashes. Okay. Should I do my other eye? I mean, bottom lashes? Why not? I make really ugly faces when I do my bottom lashes. I'll be trying not to. It don't work though. Okay, so as you can see, it is done. It is finished. It is complete. My eyebrows are actually looking really, really good. I was gonna like try to sculpt them more, but the way that I blended out the brown, I think they look pretty good, actually, guys. Um, I now want to. I'm a worried about these contour and highlight. Um, how am I supposed to contour, people? Do y'all mind if I cheat one time? Okay, I'm gonna cheat a little bit, okay? So I'm just gonna get one brush and make everything else work with this one brush. But, yeah. Like, I cannot put contour on with this. I mean, I can try with my fingers. It's just not gonna look that great. And I just, you know, we don't wanna mess up contour because that can go bad and then everything's bad. So I'm just gonna take this brush, Coastal Sense number three brush, and I'm gonna go into the contour side, which is, I don't think that's contour, we're gonna try. Yeah, that's not contour for me. It just looks like foundation. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just get rid of the redness in my face. Cause that's not contour. And I wonder if I can get, I don't know guys. Maybe today's look, you know, I don't have any contour, which is fine. It doesn't have to. Okay. So now I'm just going to take... I have two different highlights. I'm going to go with the one that's more, a little more like... Which is in the second one that comes with the highlight and blush. This one. This one. I'm going to use that same brush and just go into it. Just... Oh. 
She wa she wanted to make a statement. Yes, I know y'all see that. She did that. Yeah, she wanted to be noticed. Just a little sound sound. She's like, oh, you're not gonna ignore me, baby. I'm here. I am here to stay. Like, I know y'all see that. Yeah, 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 she was not playing no games. Oh, yeah, 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 y'all can say whatever you want to say about the rest of these products. Baby. And then there's blush. Um, these are too pink. So I want to go with the one that's in the same palette as the highlight that I just used. Just a little bit. I'm scared. First off. Yeah, you be showing it. It's okay. So I'm done with that. Put that away. Put that away. Not throw that away. Put that away. And so now it's time for some lips. It's time for some lips. Um, and it's more so purple. Oh, never mind. I don't know what I'm doing. I figured it out. So, like I said, I'm aligning my lips with the brown. When you line your lips, you have to kind of come in because if you don't, it's not going to blend well with anything else. Then you just have like a line. It's always come in a third of the way. Okay. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna take that purple and just kinda go right over it. So that's the color. Right? A little dark, it's a dark purple, magenta. And now I'm about to take this shiny lip gloss that has glitter in it and go right over it. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. My makeup look is done. Um, overall, I think there were some really great products. So, lipsticks are yes. The texture of them, the color wouldn't say they're for every day, but they're good. Mascara, it was all right. Ain't gonna hate on it. These primers, one of which is a cream eyeshadow. Um, the cream eyeshadow is great. The primer itself is really weird. It was extremely liquidy. It's still liquidy. Um, I just keep trying to play with it and incorporate the moisture. I mean, incorporate the liquid to the product, but I think the product itself is just liquidy. Um, these little foam applicator things, yeah, trash. Not gonna use those anymore. The liners, the brown was great. Black was kind of hard to work with. Um, so, I mean, I did the black eyeliner. And I think it worked, but I probably wouldn't do it again. Honesty. Um, blushes, none of them are dark enough for me. Um, but the highlight that comes in the container with the blush, this one. This one here. Yeah. Yeah, she wants to be there. Um, the contour, it's not a contour. Um, but honestly, y'all, for $10. I'd probably buy it again or give it as a gift. I feel like if you are just starting out with makeup and you're practicing and you know, you just are trying to get a feel for it, this is the per perfect way to practice. Um, if I wouldn't say that it's a waste of money. It was $10. This palette, I'm gonna give y'all another tutorial one day with this palette and brushes because I really feel like these colors are quite 
can be quite buildable. Um, and just the different <laughs> glitter shades that are in here. There's a really pretty like copper tone in here. I'll make sure to include that picture again so you guys can see what they look like. But there are some really nice colors in here that I would love to see what they can do when it comes to using them with a brush. Um, well, to rate this kit one out of 10, keeping in mind that it was $10, I'm gonna give it like, like a five, like a five and a half, six. Um, because although it was not terrible, it was not great either. Um, but anyways, y'all, please, please, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Join the family. Let me know that y'all are out there. And if for some reason you guys get this palette and you guys want to create this look, please tag me in it on my social medias or in my bio. I would love to see you guys recreate these looks. If you get this palette and you're like, oh my goodness, this worked for me. Um, the brushes was a great idea. Please let me know. I would love to see it. I want to support you guys as well as thank you guys for supporting me. So, this is part one. The great thing is, there's a part two. Y'all, I got a whole nother video coming with the same concept. But the next kit was $20. So, we bumped up $10 prize. So, that means we're looking for some extra good stuff. So, y'all.